everybody, so welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley and this is MJ and Ashley's Little Corner. Today we'll be talking about three to six month essentials. Okay, so I have gathered stuff around my house. MJ just turned six months about two weeks ago, so this is pretty much stuff that we have used for the last few months on a regular basis. So I'm just kind of going to show you what I use on a regular basis and what I believe to be the essentials for a three to six month are. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to start with my favorite product I've had. I've had it since he was about a few weeks to a month old, but I wish I got this sooner. I wish I put this in my newborn essentials, but honestly, I completely forgot about it until after the fact. So I'm going to do it now, but this is something that you can use for all ages and I highly, highly, highly recommend. So I did buy the Owlette Smart Sock. This is the little base to it and it just clicks on and off. Obviously it's not plugged in. So when it's, and this is the sock. When the sock is plugged in, it does turn, it turns white to say it's charging. When it's on, it's green and then it sounds alarms if it comes off of their foot with like a little song or it sounds a alarm for their oxygen. I've not had a heart rate go off yet, but I think that's a blue alert from what I've read with it. But this is absolutely amazing. So it's a little sock and it just goes around their little footsie. It's pretty spectacular. This is the year old. It, they have three different size socks for it. And it's really easy. So you just pop it open and the sensor is right in, it's super little. Don't get me wrong, it's a little bit pricey. Um, you can, the website I got mine through, which I believe is called Affirm, it, or it's right on the Outlet website, you can do payments for it. You can also get the, the monitor with it and the monitor is supposed to tell you what the room temperature is too so I kind of wish I had that but I already had a baby monitor so I didn't want to spend an extra hundred dollars on it. This little bad boy is about two hundred dollars. I, I think it's about two hundred dollars. I think I paid three for it but it is worth every dime. Absolutely every dime. When MJ was super sick, this was actually the reason why we knew he was sick because it would go off during the night. If there's anything you could take away from it, it's get this. It, I, I think it's a saving grace. I love this so 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 much. It's a little wire with it. Another thing that you'll need three to six months is a mobile and a 100% snuck in the room while Andrew was taking a nap and took this and he had no idea. It was great. So this bad boy, it's battery operated and we have him down in his crib so it's like a notch down so he cannot stand to get it. He is not tall enough. Also he can't pull himself up quite yet so there's also that which is nice. So he's not in reach. I love this. I think any mobile is worthy. Personally, I love this. I got it at Walmart and it so it has little lights on the top so it'll light up on the ceiling and this moves and it sings. And obviously this lights up too. It's better in the dark. It doesn't look as weird. But it's great. I put this on every and I have it on a timer. There's a 15 minute, a 30 minute and a 45 minute timer that you could do. Also with this, you can have it so the light doesn't go on or only the light is on and the mobile doesn't. So I, I have it on both because he watches it. This, also this bad boy. Let's see if I can pop it out. Because this top part also comes out. I can't get it off but this top part also comes out so when they're big enough and they can pull on these you can take these little guys off and put it down here. Love this. Personally love this. So this 
So another of our big things that I use on a regular basis is our Bumbo. And it's dirty right now and he likes to put his mouth all over it. I actually feed him in this. We haven't bought like a full on high chair. We need one. So I sit on the floor and I will feed him in this. Also, I when they're like three months and before they could fully sit up on their own, you can put them in this and they won't fall over, which is great. And you can strap them in. I We have fish. So one of my favorite things to do is actually to put this on a chair in front of our fish tank. And he's literally occupied for like 30 minutes with the fish tank because he likes to try to catch the fish in the water. Another thing you're gonna need, especially three to six months, because that's teething time, is teething gel. I've talked about this before, this is apple flavor. He didn't like it at first because of the flavor, but now that he eats solid foods, he likes it more. But anytime he goes crazy and he starts crying for no reason and he just had two teeth pop up within a week, I put this on him and I'm, cause he's not hungry, he's not wet, he's just crazy cause his teeth hurt. This teething gel put on it, it doesn't matter what brand, teething gel on their little gums, give it like 10 minutes, way happier baby, way happier baby. Another thing for teethers that we have liked, so he has taken particular, he likes the itsy ritzy brand. And I didn't realize until after the fact that all of the stuff we bought was the same brand. But they have these cute little teethers, they're, I think it's like water in them, but they're like mushy. You know, we put them in the fridge, you can put them in the freezer, that way they can teeth on them. He doesn't care for this cactus too much. He likes to like hold on to the other little ones, but that's that. We also have a teething glove, which is, again, it's Ritzy. He doesn't like to wear it, but he will grab it and teeth it. Um, we also have a plethora of teething rings from them. I like this one from Itsy Ritzy a lot. It, we actually got it on sale at Target for $5 too, just saying. Um, it's like a really solid, like, soft plastic, and it has a little rattle, and it matches his, this pacifier. We have four, four pacifiers of Itsy Ritzy. It took us apparently five months to realize which pacifier was his favorite, and it was because my grandmother sent us the Itsy Ritzy Llama one with it on it, so his llama is with him in his nap right now. So, but we also bought a fox so we can have one in the crib and one out here so I don't have to like worry about finding it and losing it. A little extra, I know, but it's okay. It's like $10, but these, and we have backup ones, two passies. Love it. Another thing that I think is great, especially for tummy time, is this guy. And it's just a little whale and you put water in it and you blow it up and it just, they play on it. And he, again, he likes to get fish. So there's like the little sea creatures in here and he likes to try to get the little creatures in there. And again, on the long lines of teething rings, I've talked about these before, I've had them forever, are his rattles. They're really great. He pees on this guy constantly. He also does it with this guy because they're different textures and it's hard because he likes the hard consistency, same with the books. He likes to do it. He's also got really into like just like throwing things recently, which is fun. So obviously right next to me, I have two tummy times. I like this one for when he was smaller because it has more on the top and he can like look up and play with it. This one, I think I like more now because he can, he can sit up and he plays with it and it goes in different places. I do put, cause he, when he sits up, I don't want him to fall back and smack his head on the ground. I do put a boppy around him so I know he's okay right there. So I do use my boppy still. I don't exclude, I don't breastfeed it itself, himself. I don't nurse, I do pump on a regular basis and I will be doing a pumping video coming up because I've slowed down recently on purpose 
but just to give everybody like kind of a heads up. So I do use my boppy still. But the reason why I also love this, besides the fact that it's small and easier just for him to sit up in and like play with the toys up, is it comes with this piano. And this is great. It does have two stands, which I don't have up right now because he doesn't use it. But it can sit up like a little piano so they can like smack on it. I just put it on the ground and let him like play with it personally. That way he, he can have it up and down because he also likes to play with it on this tummy. But it does have the smart stages, which is great. Also when he was little, I like to put this on and put his feet by feet by the piano so he could kick it and the song would just memorize him. He loved it so much. Okay, so a few more things that I think are essentials. One of them is like this newborn bathtub. And I mean, you can use it up until they're toddlers. I love this. I actually stopped using it as a bathtub and started putting him in it and just letting him sit in this little spot right here that, that sits up straight. I like it because I can put him in it and like do dishes and I don't have to worry. I could just like put it next to like the opening so I can see him constantly. And he literally just has a jolly old time in it. He absolutely loves it. Another thing for three to six months that's great and probably all babies because they love lights and playing things are the stackable toys but pretty much anything that lights up and sings. They love it. He also really likes teething on this llama head specifically. I don't know. I don't get it. But he loves it. So, a couple other things that you absolutely need are jumpers. They typically say that you don't need them until like six months. Personally, I think that's a lie. They like to bounce in them and get entertained by all the toys. Definitely before that. So don't listen to the six months. I definitely would do three and a half to four. So I have two jumpers. Actually, I have three jumpers. One of them is a wall jumper and I don't, I use it right now, not as much as I want to, but I do use it, but I'm gonna mostly focus on these guys today. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this guy and this is the under the sea something one. This is a typical jumper. It has like the cables on it. They jump. It's pretty much it. They have like all these different toys, stuff you could reach for. Great things. It definitely learns this turtle sings over here. He sings, he counts in three different languages. It's pretty cool. I like this one for closer to the three months. Definitely not saying it's necessary to get two jumpers it's just something we ended up doing because we originally didn't like that one but now we found that we actually like it more so i'm going to talk about it last this one i really liked for when he was super little because it didn't take as much effort for him to jump i guess he liked these toys better it was more like visually entertaining it was enclosed he could just jump and the jump that he did in this was more of a, I'm just gonna drop and like I could just keep doing it like a bungee jump. So I do like this one. I do recommend it, but I actually like my other one better. And I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, so this is the second jumper. I do have a pacifier on it. I said I have a bunch of these, who loves them? So we like this one better. It's not necessarily a table, but I really like this one because it is harder. They have to physically jump in it. They have to figure out how to use their legs and jump in it. So it's a little bit more challenging, and I think originally that's why I didn't like it. I like it because like when he's, oh sorry, as they get bigger, he'll be able to push it because it, it's on wheels. Yeah. So he will be able to walk in it and push it. And it has this, which is like a little toy. And you can lock everything so you can't move stuff. Right, yeah. It has wheels. It's open at the back, so it's not like anything's gonna happen too much if they get 
push it and they fall down. But since it's also harder, I, you can lock this side so you can't, so if this side's not locked, it goes down. This side's not, so it can turn into a table. You can lock the wheels so you they don't, he's on carpet right now, so it's really challenging to move even for like an adult. So, but on like hardwood or tile, if you have hardwood or tile, you could do it and it stands up. So, so it's all locked so they can't move it. And that way it goes down too. Also, because you can play with it on the outside and not move it and use it as like a table, you can also turn these beautiful little toys around and put them in different spots too, which is awesome. So when he's there standing, they can play with everything and it's not like backwards. So they can see all their little rattles and see their little cute little faces. This one actually is the cheaper one too between the other ones. This one I think is between $90 and $100. The other one's about $130. I recommend the other one. I like it. I like this one more. Definitely like this one more. Would recommend this guy way more over the other one. Okay, another thing that's great for babies of all ages are books. We have a bunch of different books. I have books for them to just like see. This is great for when they're newborn. He also likes to tease it and chew it a lot, obviously. Used. So, I need to wash this mental note for myself. We have like little books and like texture books, which is great. I have the little squishy ones. This is a little first Bible. It's really seeing it cute, by the way. And it's just like the hard pages. This is something my grandma sent me. And it's so cool. It's Disney books. So there's 12 of them in here. And they're just little books. So this one is Let's Eat. And it just has like the cute little words in it super cute especially if they get bigger and they start to learn we want to teach MJ sign language honestly we are really bad at it and are very inconsistent with it but that is something that you're also supposed to teach them right around this age the three about four to six months is when you really start to do it highly recommend it I need to get better at it definitely admitting that that way you, you can communicate with them before they can verbally communicate. Also, some things that are really good to do with your baby are repeat stuff. So, I don't know about you guys, but I want MJ to say mama before he says dada. So, I spend a lot of time with him going mama, mama in hopes that he will say something back. And then I'll also do da da and goo goo ga ga. One thing I enjoy doing too are saying my cat's names. And I, I kind of think he'll be able to pick those up or a version of them faster because they're funky names. My cat's names are Cheech and Chong. So Cheech is, it's funny where Cheech loves him, comes around all the time with him and likes to just like watch over MJ. So I, every time Cheech is around, I'm like, Cheech. Cheech and he he gets really excited into it. I love pets and babies. It is so much fun. We are also looking to get a puppy, so hopefully we'll be able to have a little playmate for him. And that way they can also get that kind of interactions. Also, if you have pets with them specifically, I again I don't have a dog. Want a dog, don't have a dog. But babies around this time, he's really into pulling. So he will grab the cats and try to put them in their mouth. Um, obviously they take chunks of hair. Chong does not like it. He will try to swat at him. Luckily he realizes he's a baby and won't swat with nails. Cheech doesn't care. So that is something to worry about that I have to constantly take MJ's hand and like nice kitty to him and just show him how to pet. 
animals. That's definitely something that they need to learn. Um, also, my hair is up right now. That is something else for when they get to be about this age. My hair is never down anymore because he pulls so hard and I don't like playing tug of war with my hair. So I keep finding new ways to put it up and do different things with it so it doesn't hurt. Also, like, no jewelry because they pull it. Super great. We love three to six month olds. I personally need to invest in a teething necklace. I want that really badly. So he can do that. Also, I've noticed in the teething stage that he likes to be held pretty constantly. So he'll cry and it just makes him feel better, especially at night when they're teething and we do still have MJ in our room. So I spend a lot of time certain nights right before a tooth pops up or whatever, holding him I'm up with him constantly. Alrighty guys, thank you for joining me once again. I hope this video was helpful and informational for you. And I think hope that there is something that I use that you can use as well that you enjoy. Thank you for joining. Hit the like and subscribe button down below. Have a great day.